Hi there Capricorn, welcome to your 2018 tarot reading, the yearly <laughs> tarot reading I should say. So this is um, a very interesting time for you because you go into the new year with Saturn in your own sign. And so I think it's going to be a wonderful few years for you. And of course you already have Pluto there so you have a lot of transformation going on. And Saturn adds to this sense of uh, change. Saturn will sometimes lay things bare, but in a good way. And I don't think that uh, Capricorn people really have a problem with uh, paring down. You may be the original minimalists for that matter. So I think you'll be just fine. I'm shuffling the cards here. If you'd like a private reading, you can click on the link below. My website is rainamoonastrology.com. I will let you know what the, um, this is a special spread, so I'll let you know about all of the um, placements. Speaking from my cards down to fall. Oh wow. <laughs> well, I'm gonna leave it since you can't see what that last card was, I'm gonna leave that as a surprise. Okay, because I wasn't even thinking about certain things. Okay, so let's uh the the top row are influences coming in from 2017. Either they're things that you may have accomplished, they may be things that still are left undone to some degree that you still have to contend with, but um, one of them is the King of Pentacles, so this may be you finally realizing business success, especially we're talking about your own situation, whether you own a business or you're like a managerial situation, or just financial, um, what we would call it, mastery, where you have finally gotten to the point where you have um, quite a, quite a, uh, a lot of money saved. It actually could be somebody as as uh, advanced in age as is ready to retire because you've finally gotten that magical number that you felt that you needed to get or just that you have come upon the kind of money that you need to manage in a serious way in other words you're you're in control of a lot of it and there's a sense of you being in, in you know at the helm of something if uh, if there's somebody romantically, this may be an older male or mature male, maybe somebody who's in their 20s but really is very mature for their age. And they are someone who um, could be an earth sign, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or that is very prominent in their chart. 
we have next to this. Now, of course, that's you, you. When I first picked that card, I was thinking, oh, there's Capricorn, King of Pentacles. But um, I get the Judgment card right next to it. So uh, for some people, you may have had to kind of um, really, I mean, let me put it this way. For some, some of you, this money may have come about in some legal case so whether you won a judgment of um you know like if you sued somebody and you were able to to win that case and now you're financially very solvent or <laughs> very solvent but um i i just get this this feeling of this sense of rebirth with the judgment card that's one of the key words of the judgment card so something gives you a new lease on life we even have next to it the Wheel of Fortune. So these are all like very positive cards for you in uh, 2017. And hopefully, I'm not going to get too many people writing me and saying, oh yeah, right, sure. That was, you know, the worst year of my life. Uh, <laughs> because that wouldn't be, I, I, I certainly hope that you did have a wonderful year, Capricorn. I, I think that, let me think, um, you know, you have, right now, you have Jupiter in the 11th house of hopes and wishes, which is the luckiest house. So some of those things from the past may actually, who knows, maybe those are future things that are going to happen. But I did pick a roll of cards that's supposed to be just for, for themes for 2018. And this, you know, how, how much better does it get than this? I feel that some of you Capricorns are going to meet your soulmate in 2018. This is a card of love. This is a card of creativity, of happiness, prosperity, and healing. So every possible good thing, you know, in any any way you want to slice it, could be coming true for you. Um, it's like your ship coming in, possibly, in some way. But it's coming from this wonderful 2017 energy. So it's like, the better it gets, the better it gets. Right next to it, we have the Nine of Wands. So this could be about, um, this could be a fire sign individual. Maybe uh, it is a Leo, because uh, the sun rules Leo. If you are involved with a Leo, and, and if this is not a romantic person, it could be like a creative person. Um, a creative partner that comes in. Yeah, I got. I have another fiery card, and and the sun. It maybe even Aries because that is a card. That is a sign that forms a square with you. The other fire sign is Sag. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's an Aries because this is very, very quick moving energy. So you may feel Capricorn that some. Something in your life kind of was, I don't know, on, on hold. You had Saturn in your 12th house. So that talk about tying up loose ends, you know. That is one of those things that may have really had an impact for you for quite a while. Uh, 12th house stuff. And it's almost like the dark night of the soul having uh, Saturn in the 12th house. So now the sun has come out. You know, you, you have uh, Saturn in your sun, sun sign or rising sign if you're watching it for that. I'm not sure how many are though. But now you may feel a lot more in a positive mood. Plus, things may start to really get going. You know, the 12th house is... is uh, is a very interior house. And the first house is like starting new projects and things like that, okay? So that might be what's happening. And you're raring to go. Eight of Wands, things happening quickly, including possible love coming into your life. And then we have these outer influences, the Eight of Cups. Um, this could be a Scorpio person that is that plays a significant role in your life in 2018. And this person may have a 
an impact on you that is more than just a friendship. It's possible that they that they are someone who is very um, inspirational and they help you to see what is good and true in your life. Maybe you were um, influenced by the wrong things in the past and now you're feeling a sense of optimism. Uh, this might be the person that you have fallen in love with. That's always a possibility. Next to it we have the Page of Pentacles. This can be another message about money. Sometimes this can indicate some kind of course that you're taking or that you're a student, but it could be that helps you with your career. But with the money situation, it can be that perhaps you are receiving um, some money. It may not be like, you know, just some kind of a windfall, but it may be something that symbolically is helpful to let you see that the universe wants you to do a certain thing. So with the King of Pentacles, if there is some kind of a business that you have been beginning to run and you have not seen uh, the full impact or, or, or benefit from it, the, the Page of Pentacles, right at the 11th hour, you may get some money that makes you realize that, yes, I can do this. And um, the advice is represented by the Hierophant. So this is a card that talks about tradition and talks about conforming to um, societal norms, whatever your norms are. Um, this can also be about seeking something more spiritual, which I, again, connected to the Eight of Cups. And with the Eight of Cups, by the way, you may come in contact with someone who, in, in 2018, you're going to have Jupiter eventually go into that 12th house when it goes into Sagittarius. This is going to be around November 8th. So it's very much at the end of the year. But you may meet somebody who becomes your guru of sorts, who helps you kind of navigate some of the challenges of life and uh, turns out to be an important person in your journey, in your life's journey. The Hierophant can also just be about your own, yeah, your own um, sense of kind of transcending the material and formulating what your belief system is and what you believe to be true about life so that you can make the best decisions for yourself. This can also be a card of what is coming up for you in 2018. So perhaps you're planning to get married. Um, I did get, now this is going to be the cool cards. This is kind of deviating from the rest of the reading. Uh, well, most of it. As I, if you've watched one of my typical videos when I do general readings, uh, you guys, you probably know that I tend to always go into relationships, even in the general readings. I don't usually focus on career matters, money matters. But in this reading, I saw very clearly from that first card, the, the King of Pentacles, that this could be something that is connected to that. And then I did get a card, um, the Sun card, which uh, can be like creative endeavors that could be connected to your work, but also love. Well, the outcome cards are definitely that. One is the Ace of Cups, some new love, an offer of new love. And this is spiritual love. Now, that looks like a sun in a way, doesn't it? I don't know what that is. But isn't that beautiful, the, the, the depiction of this card? This is, you know, if I would have gotten the Ace of Pentacles for you, then... It might be love, too, but it would be a very practical relationship. Something where you both bring something to the table that is connected to finances. However, this card, the Ace of Cups, can really deal with your ability to seek and find um, 
the love of your life. And the other card that I got for the outcome is a six of cups, and this is a soulmate card. So this is like finding that person who is, you know, you're meant to be with. Now, this person could be somebody from your past. So it could be like a the, the, the one that got away is back in the picture, Capricorn, if there is somebody like that in your life. So you never know what's going to happen, right? You know, and, and by the way, I was thinking of um, retrogrades in uh, 2018 because I was thinking of Mercury retrograde sometimes brings people from the past or even Venus retrograde into our life again. Well, there's going to be a Mars retrograde in 2018, you guys, and it's going to affect um, the first nine degrees of Aquarius and a certain amount of later degrees in Capricorn. I don't know the exact number, but that means that it, it's going to be partly with your sign. So usually I think a Mars transit through one sign is about, I don't know, two months or maybe a, a little less than that, maybe six weeks or so. This time it's going to be, <laughs> those two signs are going to, it's going to occupy like six months because of the retrograde and then going direct again. So that could be important for Capricorns in 2018, the Mars retrograde in your sign. And uh, anyway, I do hope that you have a blessed 2018 Capricorn and take care of yourselves. Bye.